Uh, hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm Luna Vizi, and I'm in seventh grade, and uh, when people ask me what I want to be when I grow up, I really don't know. I want to be a lot of things. I want to be a director, a producer, a songwriter, an agent, a secret agent, that'd be pretty cool. But I really want to be a part of film, because I really think I can make a difference. As a young person, I'm always hearing the latest trends in movies and magazines and music, and a lot of these things come directly from Hollywood LA. Everything in Hollywood is directed and scripted in this perfect fantasy world, in a truly magical story that you know will never happen, but you love it anyway. Uh, we've all, it's like these daydreams that we have in the middle of work or class, like, and I know you all daydream in the middle of work or class, don't deny it. We all slack off sometimes. But we create these little scenes in our heads and we know it will never happen. And I think it kind of relax, it's kind of like what Hollywood has for us because they make these things to help us escape our reality. But in reality, we kind of like some of the things about reality. And I said reality three times in one sentence. That didn't work. <laughs> A lot of these scenes that I make in my, up in my head relate to what music I'm listening to or what I just watched on TV. Uh, I watched the uh, I watched the Avengers the other day, and so in the middle of like the day, I was thinking what I would do if Loki's army came and took over Colorado and tried to take my friends away from me, and all of those superpowers that you could ever think of popped into my head, and I scared them away, and I felt very proud of myself in my own little world. But there are so many things about wrong about that because. If aliens were to come and take over Colorado, they would not come to Salida. Salida is a town of about 6,000 people. All we have to offer them are kayaks and skis. I mean, they'd be like, this is our broken paddle, but it's the only paddle we have, kind of thing. If our world, in every superhero movie, our world ends, and or it's about to end, and then somebody from another planet comes along who is way better than us, and just kind of saves our world, and I think that the people of Earth should save the people of Earth, because if the world is going to end and we don't want it to end, then we should probably save it, because Superman's not going to come for us. We shouldn't have to look up to the sky and see a man flying around in his underwear and think, we're going to be okay! <laughs> we need to be that man flying around in his underwear, <laughs> making sure that we're okay. But another thing that everyone loves is kids' movies. And I'm not dissing kids' movies. I'm not that cold-hearted. I still watch Frozen, Finding Nemo, Monsters Incorporated. But some of the movies are so melodramatic. I'm not trying to gloss over what some people have been through in this country, but I think that a happy main character is a good role model for the kids who are watching this. Uh, I went to see Brave with my little sister, who I love very much, and she is, these movies are made for her. She's like, she's seven. So, at the end, we, there's like, the end scene is the princess is crying over her mother who is cursed because she's a bear and she's not gonna become a human again. And it makes sense in the movie, but it was very intense. And we were both crying, and there were a bunch of five-year-olds around us crying too. And I have respect for Pixar for like allow for making a 13-year-old girl cry over a bear mother. But <laughs> but I really don't wish that they'd make every other kid kind of go through that kind of trauma. I think that we as one of the best things about reality is that we're happy. And some of these characters aren't very happy. And I think that that's a good role model. A good role model is a happy person. And, yeah. <laughs> um, other movies that everyone loves are romance movies. And I don't really watch romance movies because I have no one to watch them with and they make <laughs> me feel a bit lonely. <laughs> you always see those movies where a boy sees a girl across a room at a party and they immediately fall in love. But he could be an axe murderer, you never know. I mean, when I see a boy staring at me from across the room, I'm like, what did I spill on myself? Ketchup. Okay, that makes sense. Back away into the crowd. Hide. 
you're never gonna see someone across the street and be like, hey, we're meant to be. They're gonna be like, I have pepper spray. <laughs> I mean, I think romance movies are obviously always settled around a boy and a girl and their love story, which I know is basically what a romance movie is, but it doesn't just have to be that. I mean, there are, there needs to be love despite their differences, too. The boy and the girl are always beautiful, and they are, they're never different. They're just, they're perfect. They say the most perfect things. And one of the best things about reality is that we're all different. So that's one thing. And what, what I said earlier is that um, we need to have more than just their love. We need to have the parents and our friends and other people that we care about and protect too. Beauty, beauty is also an issue too. When I'm in like Safeway or Walmart and I see like magazines, there's always these models or celebrities that are photoshopped down to the bone. And it's like somebody just took a bunch of eyeliner and eyeshadow and blew it in their face and then just made it pretty. But one thing is, and on the other, on like the sides, they'll have like things that say like, this is what you should look like and turn to page 45 to find out how. But I can tell you right now, all you need is Photoshop and Sephora. <laughs> That's all you need. And those, those magazines don't make, make me want to buy them. They just make me kind of feel bad about myself. Like, if I don't look like a disoriented Martian who is dehydrated, then I probably am not out of this world. But I'm trash. You see what I did there? You, you're catching up. Um, but the things that in, the things that we see influence influence us so much, and I think that Hollywood lacks the good things of reality. In the real world, we have good friends. We do not stand alone. We are equal. There are no people with super superpowers that would completely throw off society. Nobody's perfect. There are no perfect couples. Everyone disagrees on something, and, and not every person has different problems in their personal lives, especially kids, sometimes. <laughs> um, but if we, we, I think we wouldn't feel so insecure if we portrayed these things differently. We wouldn't fight as much. Drama is powerful, and we need to look up to reality and find that you can't defeat an army single-handedly. That's why we have armies. There will not be one night to slay dragons. We need to slay those dragons together. And our life is imitating art right now, and we need our art to imitate life. Thank you. <laughs>